Happy Saturday, everybody. I'm so excited today to kick off Perspectives and listen who I'm kicking it off with. Does anybody remember that? I know some of our young folks wouldn't remember that, but for the folks like me who were born in the 70s and 80s, his name is Big Bub. Listen at this, jamming back in the day, jamming. And this has been one of my favorite songs, y'all. Listen at this. Y'all remember that? What you seem to be so I see y'all are coming on in. <laughs> come on in, come on in. Man, you talk about some good music. Man, Big Bub. Now, this, I'm talking about for the folks who are back in the day like me. Does anybody remember? Back, I'm a 70s kid. I was born back in 72. So this music had to come out like in the 80s and 90s. Telling me stories. Man, that came up on my timeline one day. Goodness gracious, gracious. <laughs> hey, 74 representing, I got somebody on the line. Hey, if you would go back to uh, to the post and click yes, so StreamYard can show your comments. What else do I have here? 79 here, come on y'all, y'all representing this morning. Just listen, listen everybody. You have to remember this. You have to remember that. <laughs> you all didn't tune in uh, to hear Big Bob, but let me tell you something. Woo! That's all I can say. That's that song. Me and my husband said we were going to try to do the Christian version of that, do a church song about that, you know, and about how Jesus helps us. <laughs> to stop telling stories anyway happy saturday to you all i'm so glad to see you all here i am kisa sharp jefferson coach k it is a somewhat gloomy saturday out there but as you can see i've got sunshine on a cloudy day because i'm so excited to be bringing you perspectives each and every saturday morning 106 point, what did it say? 106.3 in the house, 1963 in the house. Oh, Stephanie. <laughs> well, you probably remember that too, Stephanie, right? <laughs> oh gosh, I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you all for coming on in. We'll go ahead and get started. But boy, that was just that song for me. Oh my gosh. So I'm Kisa Sharp Jefferson again, Coach K. And part of what I'm going to do for you all each and every year, and I, I've just determined I have fought it. I have tried to deny it. I have tried to put it aside and ignore it, but I cannot and will not do that any longer. I am going to bring you as, as, as long as the Lord allows on these Saturday mornings, I'm going to get up and I'm going to bring you something that's going to enhance or help your life in some shape, form or fashion. I decided to go ahead and kick it off late January and we're going to be going for the rest of 2021. Okay. We may go to 2022, not concerned about that, but most Saturdays, I'm going to be right here either at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. with a special guest bringing you something that's going to make your life easier or make your life better in some way, shape, form, or fashion. It's called Perspectives. I will feature business owners or we're going to get on here and just motivate you, okay? to get your weekend off to a great start and to get your next week off to a great start. So I want to say thank you for tuning in. I want to encourage you to share out the broadcast. We're not going to stay on here long because it doesn't take a long time to, to get things done, right? And I know you've got some other things you need to do on a Saturday. So one of the items that we're bringing to you this morning is we're coming on this morning and, you know, in January, we're starting off a new year. We're starting off all things new in January, okay? And a lot of times that involves our, our eating plans and it also involves uh, exercising and so many different things. Hey there, and I want to say, by the way, good morning. I have, um, who else? I have the real Morpheus. Hey there. Hey, Stephanie tuning in because her twin, her daughter, will be tuning in and will be talking to us in just a few minutes. She's on standby. And Arquetta Bowman, good morning, sweetheart. Good to see you. And remember, share out the broadcast. We like to give. So those who share out the broadcast will be uh, winning something great this morning from me. 
two people, two gifts, share out the broadcast. Thank you so much. So again, we're going to bring this to you live each and every Saturday. This morning, we kick off with Chef Brittany Handy of Something Green. Oh my gosh. I tried her food. It is absolutely wonderful. And why am I bringing this to you this morning? Number one, I love to fit feature business owners. I am a business owner, Sharper Associates, also all Shea Naturals, uh, luxury body scrubs, and also uh, Shea Butters. But I love to feature business owners. I love to feature Alabama makers who are out there using their gifts and their talents to make your life better. So as we move ahead to the next week and you think about the first of February, OK, you may be crushing your fitness goals. You may be crushing your health goals. And if you are, yes, yes, yes. Hey, phenomenal morning to you, uh, Taria. Hey, sweetheart. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, you may be crushing your fitness goals. OK, you may be crushing your healthy eating goals. But if you are not, it's OK. I want to put something in your hands that's going to help you first and foremost to tell you that it's OK. Just wake back up. Let's just do it again. Let's just move forward. OK, uh, next week, Monday is a new month. So you have another new opportunity to start back over again and you need some help cooking. You need some lunch options. We've got you covered. We have Brittany Handy here with something green. Alexia and Cheney. Good morning. Good morning. I'm speaking to all of y'all today. Good morning. Good morning. We have a special guest here today who's going to help us crush OK, our healthy eating options. And if you all know anything about me, you know, I love green salads. If you didn't know, now, you know. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, Brittany. Hello. Good morning, everyone. How are you? Now, Brittany, I can't hear you right now. Let's see if we can okay. adjust the volume. <laughs> I hope you can hear me out there. I can hear you. Is it bad for your diet? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I've got some stuff going on here. I know why I can't hear you. Hold on, Brittany. It's called technical difficulties. Now, Brittany, say it, talk again. Okay, hi. I got you covered. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Look, let me tell you, I'm so special sometimes. I, I think I know how to do all this technology stuff, and then I'll do something, and I'm like, whoop, that was a that was a special moment. So anyway, like, you're like back. That. Like that. Good morning. Good morning. Brittany, something green. You know, I have ordered from you in the past. I, I'd love to be a blessing to folks in the past. And let me go ahead and speak to some of our folks, too. I want to say good morning again to Joy, who's on here as well. Joy, hey, sweetheart, thank you for tuning in. Y'all, if you have not tried her food. I know I'm connected to a lot of working boss women in ministry with jobs. Brittany, I want you to tell them about your company because you can actually help them because you deliver in and around the Birmingham area within a certain uh, a certain distance, right? Correct. So with something green catering, of yeah. course, uh, we love to promote green eating, healthy eating, green vegetables. So just with the concept of my business with something green, I do believe every meal deserves something green. So I always love a delicious salad. Most people love salads or have love-hate relationships with salads. <laughs> but here with our salads, we use the freshest ingredients. I yeah. love a romaine and a spring mix, so I don't use any iceberg lettuce. So yeah. we just try to break down what you really need in your body and what really helps you. Mm -hmm. And people don't realize that a good green leafy vegetable just makes your day better. So once you get people into eating green and not just thinking that uh, it's just vegetables, you're, you're changing your lifestyle and how you feel. And, and it just really helps. So with something green, we like to promote green vegetables, but we have many different options available for our customers as well. Brittany, as you were talking, you, you know, I, that that speaks to my heart. I, I love I, I believe that green should be a part of every meal. It should be a part of every day. I mean, I'm talking about whether I love spinach. I love the romaine that you talked about. I love kale. I mean, anything green. I'll, I'll blend it in smoothies. I find ways to cook with, you know, with green in stir fries. So I'm going to post your menu. OK, and ladies and gentlemen, I want you to take a look at our menu and I want you to look ahead to the next week. And I want you to think about whether or not you could have someone do the cooking for you. So I'm going to post your menu. And Brittany, I want you to just kind of talk us through what you're offering because it looks so good. It looks yes, so good. So no worries. So we offer a Monday through Friday um, hot meal mm. and we also have 
somewhat cold meals as well, which would be like our salads. So just say for Monday, we put mm -hmm. out a weekly menu starting either that Saturday and Sunday, which runs from Monday through Friday. And we are delivery based. So we'd like to start our deliveries around 11 o'clock. And we're usually delivering until around three o'clock in the evening. So on Mondays right now, we've been keeping it kind of simple with a baked spaghetti. Most people just don't think that spaghetti does may do too much for them or too little. So with the spaghetti that I do serve, it has something interesting inside that just makes it taste a little more flavorful. So I do like to mix flavors and make things that sometimes seem not too appealing a little more appealing. Yeah. So on Mondays, we have a baked spaghetti and we love to offer that with a side salad. So a lot of our meals come with either a side salad, a pasta, a soup. Um, on Tuesdays, we're now going to, um, we're, we've been featuring now a soup and salad. So on Tuesdays, we're going to include a sandwich uh, selection where you can do a half sandwich. You can do soup and salad, one of those three combinations. So we do have the half soup, salad, and um, sandwich combination that we'll bring on Tuesday, which will be mm -hmm. new to our menu. Mm -hmm. So um, on Wednesdays, which I have featured um, when I was on Talk of Alabama as well, we do have mm -hmm. delicious wraps which are, I try to keep, again, things light, not with heavy seasonings and heavy salts. So in your wraps, you're going to get bell pepper, onion, and spinach. Um, I also like to use a spinach wrap for people who are just trying to change it up. Just simple, small things, just incorporating, or incorporating it every day, just changing it up. And that will help you just build a different a different brand and what you like to eat. Usually we're just stuck on what we like, but if you try it little by little, you'll see that you'll find to like things you normally wouldn't like. Because yeah. I was like that with avocado. I hated avocado for some reason. <laughs> and now I love it. I yeah. literally love it because yeah. I just tried it little by little on things that I wouldn't normally try it on. Mm -hmm. So on Thursdays, we're gonna have our famous Alfredo. Everyone loves the Alfredo. Um, like I said, I like to try to keep things simple but flavorful, so I do like a flavorful sauce. Um, on Friday, we're going to do, our Fridays usually change between each Friday, so either we're doing a teriyaki chicken mm -hmm. with rice, or we'll do something like a salmon with rice, again, just to keep it simple but flavorful. Yeah. Sometimes when you go to your hibachi restaurant, you get something, and you're like, okay, I like this, but I can't really recreate it at home. Mm -hmm. So we like to just find meals that we can recreate that gives you that restaurant experience, but still that home experience. Yeah. Let's let me, well, let me tell you, I was, I'm sitting here smiling as you were talking about the restaurant experience at home. And I want to speak to a couple of people too, who are on there today. Uh, let's, t let's speak to Melody. Good morning. And I've seen a couple of you share out the broadcast. Thank you so very much. Latoria. Thank you. Thank you. We've got Tori, Tony. Now, now you said this earlier, but just for the people who may have jumped on a little later, I want to talk about, um, or you just mentioned to them again, Brittany, what areas do you serve? again like how do you oh, yes uh -huh. so we are uh delivery based only because we're working from the industrial kitchen mm -hmm. so we deliver from um to, well up to 25 miles from downtown birmingham so i would say as far as pelham bessemer gardendale and hewitt trussell area yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. Okay. And then I have your mom on here and I'm going to post this for people. So you can order by contacting Chef Brittany Handy at 205-332-3758. Thank you so much, Miss Stephanie, or order online at bit.ly slash SG catering. So I'm going to leave that up so people can do that. And, and y'all, let me tell you something. I, um, I'm blessed and I, and, I'm, and I say this very humbly when I say it, not to be braggadocious, but I'm very blessed and fortunate to be able to work from home now. But how many of you know, when you talk about uh, trying to, to prepare dinner, prepare breakfast and dinner, when you talk about trying to deal with the family, when you talk about trying to deal with the children, trying to deal with work, sometimes just to have somebody come in there and be able to provide a lunch option for you, uh, it, it, it is a blessing. And, and she wouldn't dare do this, but I'm going to do it for her. I wanted and I was was looking at her baked spaghetti and I'd missed it one time. I think I called a little bit too late to get it because people do have to call by a certain time. Right. Yes, right. By 9 a.m. for same day delivery. Same For same day delivery. Call by 9 a.m. Y'all, I called and I ordered the um, baked spaghetti 
And when I tell you it is so good, when I say so good, you might as well put an exclamation point on there. <laughs> it is so good. That is the featured item. Let me put it back up again so you all will see. You know, and I and Brittany, I love this because I just um I think you know that I, as I'm understanding my purpose, I'm talking a lot about purpose this year. You know, one of the things that I that I do well is and and I like to talk about the good things that other people are doing. That does that make sense to you? Yes. I, I like to share the great things that other people are doing because this is how I feel. We are all tr we are all working to make it. We're all going for the gold standard. We're all working to do. Most of us are. A, a lot of us are. Some aren't, but most of us are. We're trying to make a living. We're trying to make things better for ourselves and our brothers and sisters. So I understand that it is my part of my calling is to help other people get the word out just because of my training, okay? And my background in television. So I love, love, love to be able to promote and to talk about the positive things that people are doing. So let me vouch for her. And let me tell you, that's not the only thing I've had. I've had, and I can't remember what else I had. This may be part of your, your new menu, but I can personally vouch for her food. It is delicious. And let me let somebody else. So if you just think Kisa's just saying this, let me go ahead and help, help a sister out. Gloria Williams says, I love the salmon. Okay. Yeah, yes. yes. <laughs> that was one of your blessings when you bless people as well. Oh, thank you, thank so you. Enjoyed it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gloria is a huge, su huge mm -hmm. supporter, and I and I appreciate her so much. She's a paparazzi consultant. So if you all are looking for paparazzi, let me go back and let me show you her name here on Facebook. Gloria Williams. You need some jewelry. She's your contact for that. Okay. I saw her on live the other day. She does some lives. Very encouraging. She's a contact for that. She's the plug for your jewelry. How about that? And here we go. Within a 25 mile radius for a small delivery based on location in the Birmingham area. And Miss Stephanie, who is your mom, I call her, I call you her twin, right? Give honor where honor is due. <laughs> yeah. She's the mother. Yeah. She says, we love serving our valued customer. She says, contact us by 9 a.m. for same day lunch orders. We can take orders up until 12 p.m. for later orders. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Want to say good morning as well to Jacqueline Brookshine. I love acknowledging you all. I love the fact that you all are up on a Saturday morning. My hugs and kisses to all of you for sharing out the broadcast because I'm going to pick two winners and I'm going, going to announce those very soon after the broadcast. So, Brittany, I'm going to go ahead. I, I like to give people time back and not belabor the point. So, I Thank you so much, sweetheart, for getting up with me on this Saturday morning. Yes, there, are couple, there are a couple of other things I, I must, must mention. So I know we saw your menu and I have your menu posted so people can take a look and I'm going to post the contact information so they can get in touch with you. As far as one, one of the things that I really, really like, Brittany, Chef Brittany, is that I like, you know, you heard me rave about greens, but I love vegetables. I love being able to um, to eat healthy food options. So you have in the future, you're moving towards some, is it vegan options? Yes. So I've been asked by a lot of people about me. vegan options. Yeah. And me personally, I am not a just vegan eater, yeah. but I am the one to eliminate a lot of things that most vegan people eat. So yeah. I have looked into some different options that I am going to incorporate very soon mm -hmm. on our menu. I've looked into um, incorporating a vegan pasta mm -hmm. and also a vegan chili for right now. So just trying to see, again, I like to keep things flavorful. I, I speak that all the time. So I want the most flavor with the best results. So I am looking into just more vegan options, not just pastas. I know people are trying to lose weight as well. So some people yeah. want to stay away from pastas. Yeah. So I'm just looking into more green leafy options, or like I said, options with maybe avocado mm -hmm. and just protein packed vegan options just to keep you healthy with still doing that vegan option as well. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I, I love that. And, and, you know, I already told you when you feature that, all you need to do is just, you know, literally text me and say, hey, I have some vegan chili. I have some vegan pasta. What, you know, what do you want? Because I want to order it. I've already told you that because I, I have a very... 
uh, I have a very profound interest in uh, in going in going vegan. And and right now, in fact, I started off with with prayer and fasting at the beginning of the year, in which I, I eliminated meat for 21 days, and um, and looked at more plant based options. And although I've gone back and eaten a little bit of meat, I really don't miss it because what I found. Um, Chef Brittany, you don't know anything about this because you're still so, so young. <laughs> and I don't say that, uh, say that to be ugly at all. I say it to be very complimentary. But what I found is that my body has changed. And whereas it was easier to break down the meats or, or whatever, it just seems like for me right now, my body just has a challenging time breaking down meat. So I have to explore the plant-based and vegan options. I just, I feel lighter. I don't feel as heavy. I don't feel as weighed down when I don't eat real meat. But I do have to be concerned about getting the protein. So does all of that make sense to you? Yes. And that's what I really want to make sure that I get the protein in it. Because mm -hmm. even for me, yeah. uh, with me being smaller frame, I do need to make sure that I am getting a good amount of protein and mm -hmm. the vegan option. So that's why I said I'm going to, I feel like I got to do more studying of what I want people to get the most health help nutrients out of it as well. So I don't want to just give you something that just tastes good. I want it to be beneficial to your health as well. I love that because I, you know, I found in doing it, you make the mistakes sometimes and, you know, just doing, I remember uh, earlier this week, I'd just done a smoothie. I'd, I'd done a green smoothie for the morning. I, I created one. I'd gone out, done my regular exercise and regular day. And I just, I felt horrible after a couple of hours and I couldn't, you know, I couldn't, I was thinking, why is that? Well, part of the reason was, that I had not um, given myself any protein with that. It was literally just fruits and vegetables and that's it, and, you know, and water, et cetera, et cetera. But I hadn't given myself any protein. So I ended up with a headache and I thought you've got to kind of do better and do a little bit more research about making sure you get protein with that. So love, love, love that you're doing that. Right. And an, yeah. one other question as I'm leaving this up, I'm going to speak to some folks as we get ready to wrap up. Um, why did you start cooking? How did you know that this was what you were supposed to do? Well, this has been something that my son is 12 now. So yeah, I've been speaking about this since he was like five or four uh -huh. and you're in corporate America and you're complacent and you're content with what's going on. Yes, but during the pandemic, mm -hmm. I really felt like, Hey, this is the time, this is the moment where we all just have to just think of what's best for us. And yes. everybody had to make life changing decisions. Yeah. So within the pandemic, I said, let me make a life changing decision that will not only help me financially, but it will help people in my community, yes. uh, just anyone, black and brown, white, anything. So it isn't just based off of just personal gain. I really wanted to see people be healthy in a time where it's just so much chaos and people aren't really weren't fo focusing on their health. So I said, this is the best time and people still love to eat. People haven't stopped eating. <laughs> so I just want to make sure that people stay healthy. That's always been my thing. I've always been a health niche. I just always love health. I like to work out. I like to stay personally healthy. So I wanted to put that on my friends and my family and it just took off. I love that. I love that. And, and you epitomize, you know, me and my husband are in the uh, in the final stages or the final week. We'll, we'll do it tomorrow. We'll do the final class tomorrow at 3 p.m. We'll be here on on StreamYard and on Facebook and such. But you epitomize what we're talking about as it relates to walking in purpose. You know how you have pivoted during the pandemic and and. I too worked in corporate America up through 2020, you know, April of 2020, and you just didn't have the time. You didn't have the the options. You didn't have the whatever and the wherewithal as it relates to, you know, walking really fully in your passion. Well, the, the door opened, and I think the door opened for a lot of people, Brittany, a lot of people, Chef Brittany. And, you know, I love to hear you say, I just wanted to take, you know, the gift of, of good health and I wanted to help my friends, you know, doesn't matter what color, doesn't matter whatever. And that's exactly how I feel and that people are discovering their purpose and, and walking out their purpose. So we thank you for doing that. And we thank you. And that's exactly why I love featuring people like you and business owners like you who are doing what's in their heart. But in the meantime, 
blessing a whole bunch of folks along the way. So I'm going to acknowledge a few more people and I'm going to give you the closing words this morning. So I want to say thank you and give a shout out to all the people who tuned in this morning. Remember, we're going to be here each and every Saturday. I want you to join us because we're going to have something that's going to bless your life each and every Saturday. OK, we're going to get up. We're going to come. We're going to provide motivation, encouragement, something that you are going to be able to take away with and feel better about yourself or utilize for the week. This is a tool. Remember, you can order from Chef Brittany. I've left the contact information there. But let me acknowledge a few more people. I see Melody who says, uh, Melody Wilson, she says, I love veggies and salads. I'm with you, girlfriend. I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, and, and as she mentioned earlier, for those of you who are interested in going vegan, like myself, okay, or at least interested in, in vegan options. And let me just say this. I think balance is everything. So if you can't fully go vegan, you may be able to incorporate some vegan meals or some meatless meals or whatever. So Stephanie, your mother is just reminding us that you'll be incorporating a vegan chili and vegan pastas with spinach very soon. Can't wait to serve our customers. I've told you all, all you have to do is get in my inbox and let me know. <laughs> um, oh, and look at this. Joy, who's one of my friends. Joy said that her doctor put her on a plant-based vegetarian plan three weeks ago, and she's having some protein issues. Joy, make sure you research protein options, okay? Even if it means grabbing a handful of nuts or if it means incorporating some beans or whatever, but there's so many protein options. And that's just off the top of my head, really, really quick. But make sure that you read up and just take a look, just Google protein sources in every meal. Make sure you incorporate that because protein will keep you satisfied, but it's also a crucial element for development within your body and keeping you satisfied um, all during the, all throughout the day. What else, who else do we have on here? Gloria says she's been without meat for 20 days. So we've got a lot of people who are who are are holding on meat for this particular time. Sandra, good morning. One of my friends, longtime buddies, Sandra and supporter. Appreciate you, Sandra, for being on this morning. Catherine Eva Henry says I'm starting now. It's time. My health depends on it. So excited. Let me encourage you all. Let me encourage you all. Our health does depend on it walking out the call that God has given us depends on it. Okay. It can't wait another minute longer. If it's just as Miss uh, Brittany is telling us, incorporate a green in your life every day. Small steps matter too, even if you can't do the large steps. Uh, starting now, time, my health depends on it. We've got a Facebook user. I don't have your name. Says, I think this pandemic has taught us to be more resourceful and develop more creative abilities to disperse meaningful wears to be successful improvising. Do, do you agree with that, um, Brittany? I Brittany? Know, that's what I said. This pandemic has just opened everyone's eyes, especially to focusing on your health more. That's right. That's right. Tori, Tori, I've been vegan for two months. I, I empathize. I, I've been vegan for about three or four weeks. I, I had a meet with, with fish one time, and I think I did a burger one day, and I was like, uh, I mean, it tasted okay, but uh, <laughs> I the burger probably went and just it didn't sit right. Oh, oh. if you don't eat it for so long, it just won't taste right. It, yeah, it, it doesn't sit right with you. And listen, listen, listen. I, I'm I'm a balanced person, so if if you are able to do the meat, if you're able to do whatever, hey, I'm, I'm this isn't a criticism. This is just me saying I've had to make some changes, and my encouragement to you is to make sure that you research, okay? Because we had, a, my friend Joy mentioned, she had some protein issues. So, you know, you can't just eat, you know, a plate full of vegetables. You've sometimes got to incorporate that protein in there and you've got to research, you know, the different sources and make sure you're incorporated in your meals. So I want you to research, but again, let me encourage you today. If you walk away with anything, okay? Walk away with Chef Brittany as one of your friends in your back pocket. When you need a great lunch, you need a great meal option, okay? I want you to walk away with that. And secondarily, I want you to walk away with the idea that now is the time for you to take action with your health. Doesn't matter if you didn't start January 1, you know, we get off a little bit. Doesn't matter if you were planning to do the diet and then you had a bad day and you misstepped and you just ate a bowl full of, you know, of, of cake or a plate full of cake or those, you know, six brownies or whatever. It doesn't matter. Get back up today. Get back up and just keep focused and move forward. Okay. Joy, thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Ashley Newton, what about allergies? I have a nut allergies. Will these meals be okay for food allergies? 
Chef well, yes, within our meals, um, yes, yeah, all nuts that we might include or uh, pecans on our salad, but we put that on the side. It doesn't actually touch um, any of the food, but I don't cook any, any oil, heavy oils or butters or things like that. So you'll get the lightest, freshest ingredients. So yeah, you shouldn't have to worry about any nut allergies with the foods that we serve. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for that question, Ashley. That was a great question. And I just saw somebody else. Brittany, are you still there? I am. I'm my too. computer. My computer is not behaving right now. It's it's doing something a little weird, but that's okay. Um, um, yes, you are still there. Here we go. So we have another person who asked the question. Um, Bye, honey. My husband's waving goodbye to me out the window. <laughs> oh, okay. Kisa, that was me commenting, Marvin. Gotcha, Marvin. I just want to make sure I acknowledge you all. Tofu, Gloria, I love that. I love that, love that. Tofu is a great a great source of protein. And actually, there's this bowl that I that I get, a rice bowl. And, and Brittany, I'm just sharing that with you because that's something for you to think about is we love to go vegan, but, I, but um, as we're loving our vegan options, but, you know, tofu may be something or whatever, but you're the chef, not me, okay? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, but yes, tofu is a great option, and I and I frequently eat with tofu uh, in my meals. So Gloria, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Great, uh, great protein source. Enjoy. I hope you're still on, and I hope you're listening. That is a great source for you, and you can do lots of good things. You know, I've even had a fried tofu. Didn't know there was such a thing. Had a fried tofu. I don't know how healthy it was, but it. But hey, listen, if you're looking for some some good options, there you go. So, so um, your mom says our salads have nuts wrapped on the side, but we can remove any ingredients that you do not like. Uh, it's just can't wait to serve you soon. So Ashley, there you go. Um, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of communicating. Wouldn't you say, Brittany, if, if there's something that you don't need or that you want? Right. And even with, um, I guess, our vegan options, um, people don't like, uh, well, some people don't eat cheese. Yeah. So, of course, you know, you can remove your cheeses. We can look into vegan options or just I say with some things like with cheese, I just say just leave it out. Yeah. But some people want vegan cheese or vegan the replacements. I'm not big on like fake meat or not fake meat, but I'm not big on substitute meat. I would rather just yeah. find a different way to get your protein, but I'm not big on the fake bread crumbles. I mean, yeah. beef and the fake shrimp and stuff like that. So yeah. I, yeah. my thing would be just either remove things and add more things that, like you said, will give you protein, like avocado or doing quinoa, quinoa or quinoa. like that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, quinoa, that's a good source of protein. Um, me and my mom actually have been drinking that those as shakes in the morning. Mm -hmm. So, like you said, if you're just drinking, used to drinking a fruit shake, um, try the quinoa shake, and it is good for protein. And Thank it's delicious, too. Thank you. Thank you. No, that's a great option. I, I, I love this. Um, the quinoa that you mentioned, you mentioned something else. I'm going to show a couple of other comments and, and Joy, by the way, says sounds good. So she heard us. Thank you so much. Glad you heard that information, Joy. Glad you heard that information, uh, Ashley, as well. Ashley said awesome as well. Um, and, you know, I'm glad you mentioned about the fake meat because I'm going to be honest with you. I bought some like the, you know, plant based sausages, the plant based, you know, uh, hot dogs and the plant based burgers. And I'll be honest with you, I kind of, after, you know, I kind of said, you know, it's OK to buy some of this, mm -hmm. but, you know, I don't know that I want to be having a plant based meal each and every day, filling my body with soy or filling my body with items that it doesn't recommend. So I'm with you on that. I, it, it, they can be options at times. Maybe when you just yeah. feel like I got to have a burger and I, I need a, you know, a plant based burger because some plant based burgers are good. But I'm like you, Brittany, Chef Brittany. I don't I don't know that I want to do that every day. Right. You know, if, if it's not real, let me let me investigate something real and let me right. get a real option here that my body can process and will easily handle as opposed to something fake. Hey, you, you vote your conscience. You do what you need to do. I know some people they're They're all good with it. If you are all good, I'm good, too. We're just giving you some other options today. All right. So Sandra is saying on here, there's so many options. Everything meal can be made without meat. I'm loving this five year transition. Absolutely love it. And finally, we have here adding protein powders and shakes or smoothies will give you a good amount of protein. Thank you, Melody. You know, I just bought some uh, I just bought some protein powders yesterday to see how those would work with me as well, um, because I like I said, I made that smoothie the other day and it felt horrible. 
So you all have provided some great feedback this morning. Chef Brittany, I'm going to put your flyer up. I want you to tell them again how to contact you. Uh, and again, y'all, if you're looking for a great meal option for Monday, the baked spaghetti is the bomb.com. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. You're so welcome. You, I still can reach us. Um, you can, of course, you can reach us on Facebook at Something Green Catering. Um, we are on Instagram as well at Something Underscore Green Underscore Catering LMC. Um, you can contact us. Uh, Contact us by phone, 205-332-3758. And again, we're delivery-based only. So we just like to get those orders in by 9 a.m. Or you can visit us online at bit.ly slash sgcatering. So we have um, one more question. Remember, everybody, um, that if you share the broadcast out, you become eligible to win. You never know. It might be a meal option from Brittany, so you can try. It could be some shea butter products. You just never know with me. But I'm going to choose two winners, and you still have time to share the broadcast if you have not. Uh, I will choose a winner in the next 30 minutes, a couple of winners actually this morning. Okay, Sandra said you have to read ingredients. Beans are also high in protein. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Beans are an excellent option as well. Samantha Youngblood says, do you have ground turkey as an option as well? Yes, yeah, so on Tuesdays, I have a turkey chili that we serve. So we serve that on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, but I am making our soup options available um, every day. So we have a Zupa Toscana soup, which is, it is a pork base, but it's delicious. And I'm not even a pork eater, but it, I, it's delicious. I don't really eat much of the meat out of it, but it is delicious. Um, I have a broccoli cheese soup and I do serve a turkey chili right now. Nice, nice. You know, I've not tried the turkey chili. That may be something that I need to try as well. Um, I've, I've, even though I like eating vegan, I give myself the opportunity to eat some select proteins at certain times. You know, I try to be very balanced, you know, and, and turkey is a, a meat that's easier for me to digest. My husband asked about probiotics, Brittany. I know that may be a little bit, bit different. I take a probiotic every day just to help with get some healthy bacteria in my gut to help with digestion and elimination and all of that. That may or may not be something that you that you cover. I know you're more or less on the catering side. I mean, well, me personally, um, I take pro probiotics. Yeah. I've actually taken so many different kinds. I'm kind of up and down when it comes to probiotics because I literally like I, for me to be a young female, I've taken a lot of different kinds and I've just I don't I get it, but I don't get it. I hear you. I hear you. I, 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 I'm on the fence with probiotics because I do take them and then some of them you have to keep cold. So you have to do yeah. this and do that. So I'm just like, well, what, what does it really do? But I mean, I take your vitamins. I feel like, OK, just yeah. take your vitamins and yeah. your vitamin D, your vitamin C, all these things that we need anyway to combat you know, COVID. So. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I've taken a probiotic. I ordered one and I thought it was excellent because in terms of digestive health, in terms of, of, of feeling like it helped me to eliminate, I, I, I had a very good experience and I actually reordered some. So I'm with you, you know, I'm kind of on the fence about, you know, um, probiotics, but I do take this particular brand and I found some excellent excellent results with it. So I, I do like it, but I get it because there's so much information out there, probiotics, and then others suggest that you take probiotic and a prebiotic as well. So, you know, so you have to do your research on that, but I have found that I have had some help and I do like taking probiotics as well, but I understand that's a highly individual choice and make sure with you doing all of this too, that you, you just do something very simple. I told you earlier to Google but as it rel relates to your health, because I know a number of you are taking medications and different things like that, make sure you talk to your doctor. Let me let me let me say that as one of the most important things. If you're going to make any dietary changes, whether it's going vegan, whether it's determining if I should add this probiotic, if I should add this substance, going meatless, that's a big big deal because one of the things that vegans suffer with is a lack of of certain vitamins. They cert they suffer with vitamin deficiencies. One of those being uh, vitamin B12. So you have to make sure that you supplement. Make sure if you haven't already at the beginning of the year, make sure that you talk to your doctor about going and getting a vitamin panel run, okay? Making sure that you understand what you're deficient in and what your body needs, what you're okay in, you know, uh, 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 your vitamin, your vitamin levels or, or 
how, how, how should I say it? Just make sure you get a panel run so you can see exactly what your body is deficient in. I'll just say it just that way. You can ask your doctor. Your doctor should be able to do it. Your primary care physician. Um, I even have a gynecologist who will do it, who will run a panel, a wellness panel, and show you how everything is going. Just ask, ladies and gentlemen, because there's an abundance of information out there. There's no need sometimes for us to suffer with some things, or you can even catch some things before they get out of hand. So again, uh, we're giving you some, you know, Chef Brittany's options are, are solid. I mean, that's not anything that's that's questionable. I'm not talking about that. But I know we've discussed a number of, of eating options. We've discussed vegan. We've discussed needing uh, protein. We've discussed probiotics. Make sure that you read and then supplement that with talking to your doctor. And I also understand that your bodies are highly, highly individual. You, you know, what you need may not be what I need. What Chef Brittany needs may not be what Kisa needs. And listen, I, I wanted to hang up. Uh, hang up. <laughs> I'm not on the phone. I'm, I'm on StreamYard. But I wanted to get off <laughs> get off this a little bit earlier. But y'all are hanging with us this morning. So when you all are hanging, I try to, to be here and give you the information that you need. OK. Um, oh, gosh. Stephanie asked me what um, um, your mother asked. What brand do I recommend? I'm going to look it up right here because um, because I just ordered it literally and it was wonderful. And and I take it every day. And like I said, I had it, no no problems with it. But and I also uh, believe that it has helped me to actually be to eliminate as well. So I'm going to look that up for you all. And I'm going to show you exactly and tell you exactly what that that brand is. Um, your mother says, okay, what brand do you recommend? I'm going to get that information for you. Probiotic works, works wonderful for me. That's Shawana Mac. Shawana, that's my friend. Thank you. Mwah. Good to see you, Shawana. It works wonderful for me as well. And, and just again, do your research, ask some questions, ask some of your friends. And another thing, let me give, let me give a shout out too, to Bama Health Foods over in uh, the West End area, Bama Health Foods. They will sit down with you all and they will give you a free health consultation. OK, and they also have a number of items that they can recommend. They recommend it for me at the beginning of the year, a, a cleanse. It was amazing. I've, I've done a number of cleanses. I, I do Tava tea cleanses as well. Um, I do a number of those things, but they recommended something for me. They sat me down and gave me some information and let me choose what I was comfortable with. It's a resource that's right in our backyard. You eat the fish, you spit out the bones. Maybe everything in there is not for you, but it is a resource, ladies and gentlemen. So I want you to combine it with your doctor's instructions and your doctor's information, but also you getting some information and partner with some people who can help you. Like I said, they recommended a cleanse for me. It was wonderful. And they have options for men and women. Um, Chef Brittany, you know, salads kind of function as a cleanser too, don't they? To some degree. It is. Um, just green vegetables. Well, not just green vegetables, but definitely spinach. Mm -hmm. And even romaine, but definitely spinach. It cleans you out. It gets your bowels going. So yeah. people don't realize um, that just even greens like collards or like you say, kale, yeah. it keeps you regular. And yeah. you really don't have to worry about sometimes that and when you're not regular, that's that building in you, that baggage. And once you're able to get that out, like you said, it's like a, a cleanse. But many people just refuse to eat vegetables. So they're backed up. So, yeah, you definitely have to use your green vegetables as a cleanse as well. What do you think that is, though? Because, I, you know, I, I just, you know, I know people refuse to eat vegetables. I know people refuse to eat fruit. And I'm trying to figure out. This is not something that's going to hurt you, uh, even if you just say, I'm not going to do it every day. But occasionally, occasionally. I don't know. That's what I said. I had the little just things that I like I said with avocado. I hated it. I literally hated it. And I fell in love with it maybe less than two years ago. But just trying it on Mexican dishes and putting it in different things, just little with a little salt or a little, and now I love it. I'm like, where, where have I been all this time with avocado? Like, why did I not like it? But yeah. I don't you think, you know, I think our pro, our taste buds change too. You yes. know what I mean? As, 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 yes. Yes. 
Yes, I think our taste buds. So I want to show you all. Uh, are you all able to see? This is what I ordered, and I ordered it actually from Amazon. Um, that's the probiotic that I ordered. Uh, I don't even know what you call it. Um, let me put my, let me put my, and I, I don't know that I'm even an, an advocate of, of, of uh, it's this new rhythm probiotics, 50 million CFU. And sorry about the dogs barking in the background, but this is what I ordered. And y'all, when I tell you it has been wonderful, it's a little, little pricey at 1699. I mean, you can go to Walmart and, and, and get you a brand and kind of start. And if you notice normally from, from what my doctor has told me is that if there is a problem with a, a supplement or an item, you're going to notice that in the first two or three days. So there's a problem with something. You can always stop it. You understand Walmart is going to be good about giving you a refund. Amazon is very good about giving you a refund as well. Okay. But those have been wonderful for me. Uh, I, you know, I normally take them after I eat. I, I don't normally advocate taking medications on an empty stomach because they can cause problems. Ask me how I know, even if it's something like a probiotic, but read the instructions. I want to encourage you to read the instructions on that because that may be different. Just read the instructions as it relates to how you take it. So that's the one that I've taken. It's on Amazon. It's called New Rhythm Probiotics. And um, it, it is, I keep it on my counter, keep it up in the cabinet. And it has been wonderful for me. So again, you can get some of these things at, at Walmart. But when I thought about it and when I thought, to, thought about how well it worked for me, I made the decision to to actually reorder those you know, as well, because it's not the cheapest option. Again, you can get probiotics uh, starting at like maybe 10 bucks, seven to, to 10 bucks. However, for me, that actually worked really, really good. So, and Chef Brittany, I know I've been kind of talking and we've got a lot of people on here who are, who are, um, who are asking, and, you know, this is important in light of to where we are with COVID. So I know this is kind of morphed into a whole healthcare segment, uh, Chef Brittany, thanks to you. Yay. Thanks. Hey, you. I love about this. <laughs> and, you know, Chef Brittany just gave you a great tip as well. So if you are more like uh, myself, I love natural supplements. I love to eat, na you know, healthy, naturally speaking. I mean, listen, y'all, we cannot, cannot, cannot underscore the need to just add a green salad if that's what you can. That's a simple way to build in nutrition, to build in folate and to, to get all of the wonderful nutrients, okay? Uh, the iron that that beautiful uh, spinach has and, and those dark green leafy vegetables will have. So Stephanie um, says here, and this is great information, we all need D3, C, and zinc to help build our immunity, to help fight COVID. So in light of COVID, ladies and gentlemen, wow, in light of COVID, we're going to need to make some better decisions and some different choices. So having that probiotic, having that salad, just incorporating a salad with your meals uh, each and every day. One salad, they start small. If you haven't done it today, I know it's Saturday. I know we kind of, you know, you know, go crazy on Saturday sometimes for lack of a better description with our eating plans or take a break from eat healthy eating. Don't. Your health cannot afford to take a break because we're not out of the woods with COVID yet. We're not out of the woods. Okay. So that D3, I take a D3 sub, sub, uh, supplement. I was so low. My doctor actually prescribed that for me. He, um, so, and it's a very high dosage, but most adults, particularly African-Americans, because we don't get a lot of sun because we have our office jobs. Do, do you find that too? I don't know if you take any supplements yet, Brittany. I do. Uh, my mom, she has been uh, big on giving me what I don't get on my own. So even if I don't take something, she'll have it out. Like, here, she might have been sure today. Um, she doesn't go outside much, so she definitely needs it. Yeah. Um, I enjoy the outdoors, so I could say I probably get a good amount of sun. Yeah. But um, she definitely needs it. Uh, my sister, like I said, people were just at home and just really don't get out much. But I, I can honestly say I'm an outdoor person, so I'm probably outside every day, all day, in some way, some form. So mm -hmm. I I still try to take any vitamins. I'm good on, um, we've been doing a lot of elderberry um, vitamins as well. Ooh, um, cool. The C, of course. And, you know, just even with that, if you're drinking some, a cup of orange juice, some yeah. people can do that. So, you know, drink a cup of orange juice. Just make sure you get your daily vitamins. But I definitely do eat vitamins every day. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a great remind, reminder, too. And we have Melody says that her doctor... Uh, does a hormone pa panel each and every year with the OBGYN. So if you haven't done it, if you haven't asked for it, ask for it. If you know, and ask them the next time that you can get that 
and done. So here's another person that says it was vitamin D for me. Amazing how a vitamin deficiency can take a toll on your body. Me, body, excuse me. Vitamins matter. I'm a witness. I know about that. My OBGYN just basically said, hey, you're 48 now. Your body is changing. You're going to have some things that are going to be different. You need to do a panel, you know, and, I, and one of the things that I'm working right now on is just making sure I manage my weight. And she said, well, at 48, you have lower testosterone levels. So it's going to be harder for you to uh, actually shed the pounds. So we need to look at how we can supplement that. All this information, some of you are de you're dealing with, with excess weight and you don't know why. That vitamin panel, just a simple blood test can change your life and put some great information. And as Ms. Stephanie says, you definitely speak with your, your doctor, definitely do your research. Um, Bama Health is where we are going. Love that, love that joy. I have met a young lady by the name of, what's her name there? Opal. She was great. Uh, she was great there. So if you're there and if you need somebody to help you, talk to Opal. Just raw greens. Um, Deanna Gray, I'm going to let Chef Brittany answer that first. She said just raw greens, Brittany. I'm um, not necessarily raw, but you know, sometimes uh, the more that you cook things, the more nutrients you take out. Mm -hmm. uh, I do recommend raw, even uh, raw kale. You know, some people eat uh, kale salads, and which is in the raw form. Some people even eat certain collards and just certain anything raw is good. So broccoli, uh, uh, like I said, kale, spinach, um, romaine, just what, what are other things that some people just stray away from like edamame or snap peas and things yeah. like that. So you can't eat a lot of things raw that you'll be surprised that you can't eat raw. So definitely raw greens. Definitely you can eat that. You know, I'm going to answer her from a perspective of someone who absolutely loves greens and loves smoothies as well. Um, I will take any green and mix it in my blender to create a smoothie. Ask my husband. I don't care if it's collard greens. I have frozen collard greens right now in my freezer and I will do cabbage. I will do broccoli. Um, I will do my, my favorite go to is going to be spinach and or kale. Any yeah, green. I, huh? That's my go to as well, spinach and kale. Spinach and kale. I, I, I love both of them. And when I'm not you know, mixing them, mixing them in the blender or using them for a salad, I throw them in, in my stir fries or I may throw it on top of pizza or whatever. But I absolutely love those greens. And when you add your, your other ingredients, when you add your apple, when you add your banana, when you add your berries, you don't taste. And spinach is great because it doesn't really have a taste. So it's, it, it doesn't conflict with anything that you're that you're doing. So y'all, something green. And, and what we're saying to you is I want you to order from her. I'm going to post her menu one more time, but I want you to also incorporate more greens into your life. It'll change your life. But again, I want you to monitor everything. I want you to talk to a doctor. And I understand that what works for us may not necessarily work for you. But I do believe that the items that came from this earth, the greens and your vegetables, okay, those are the things that are going to be a help to you. My husband asked Chef Brittany, what cooking oils do you use? Um, oils, um, really the only main, if any oil would be olive oil. Other than that, I don't use any other. I don't use any oils. If I'm going to use a butter, if I am just have to use a form of butter, just say in my Alfredo or something like that, I actually use, I can't believe it's not butter. Yeah. So, um, that's a good alternative. Many people like, I'm not going to eat that, but it, to me, it tastes just the same. Mm -hmm. It's like a, well, it's plant-based. They have different kinds of, I can't believe it's not butter. So I yeah. try the different kinds. But yeah. other than that, I'm either going to use olive oil or nothing at all. So that's I grill a lot of my meat so that I can stay away from oils. Got our brother on here, Tim Thomas out of Shreveport, my big brother. And sister, bro, pastor, thank you for tuning in, bro. Hope you're doing well. Pray that you're blessed as well. Look, y'all, every meal deserves something green. I'm with you on that, Stephanie, okay? That's what, what Brittany and I are on here preaching today. More Brittany than me, but I'm I'm her amen choir this morning, okay? By having her on here today. <laughs> Y'all have been great. Listen, the time has been well spent. I know that you have some other things that you have done, but um, this was just, this was great. And you all just showed up and showed out. And this was more than I expected today. So I want to encourage you all to just be healthy, make some good choices, 
Brittany, I'm going to leave it to you for you to say how they can contact you again. And, and I'll let you get on to the business of the day as well. Yes, ma'am. So here at Something Green Catering, you can look at our weekly menu online. Um, it's on our website, which is bit.ly slash sgcatering. You can call us at 205-332-3758 by 9 a.m. to place same-day lunch orders or by 12 to do um, later orders in the afternoon. Um, again, you can reach us on Facebook at Something Green Catering and see our weekly menu Monday through Friday. Um, again, we're only delivery based, so we will deliver within a 25 mile radius of downtown Birmingham. And we can't wait to serve you guys. Yay! This was wonderful. This was so fun. This was fun. And I hope we got some great information out there for people. So again, the, there's the flyer that I have posted on the screen. You can see your menu. I'm going to choose a winner, two winners very soon. And actually, one of the things I'll go ahead and tell you, I'm going to treat you to lunch. I'm going to go ahead and treat you. Someone will get lunch, free lunch on me uh, from something green catering. So I'm probably going to treat myself too, uh, Chef Brittany. <laughs> to some of your delicious That's fine. <laughs> food, however you say that this morning. So thank y'all for tuning in. We're going to choose our winners coming up. Hey, hey, Chef Brittany, love mm -hmm. you, doll. Have a thank great you, day. Love you, too. Love you, doll. Of course, you, and I day. you have a wonderful day. And of course, you and I will be in touch, okay? Yes, ma'am. Bye. 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 Bye, sweetheart. So that was Chef Brittany with something green catering. I'm leaving her menu up there. 332-3758 is the number that you can call. And listen, I'm going to make it real simple for you, okay? Just follow her, them and search them, something green. Facebook and also on Instagram, okay? Something green catering. You all have been incredible this morning. Kisa Sharp Jefferson. And just to remind you all again that we are going to each Saturday, we will be on here and we're going to bring you some great information and we're going to bring you news that you can use and our perspectives Saturday mornings, but as many Saturday mornings as we can get up and be on here. OK, we may not be here every Saturday, but most Saturdays we're going to be here. And I want you to tune in because we're going to be getting some information in your hands to help improve your life in some form or some fashion. So let me go ahead. Special thanks again to uh, Chef Brittany and her mom. Stephanie, uh, Handy as well. Special thanks to, to them for joining us this morning and giving us our flyers and all of our information. So I want to say thank you to them. And I also want to just say thank you for you sharing out the broadcast and getting up this morning and representing. You did that. <laughs> Coming up next week, I have to tell you on uh, this program, we're going to have one of my friends, uh, Wanda Lloyd. She is a former journalist like myself. She's a former award winning journalist, might I add. OK, um, she has authored a book. She's on and she's edited several books. So we're going to have her on here. OK, she has. Wow. The, she's authored a book and she's going to talk about from journalism to Jim Crow, from Jim Crow to journalism. Excuse me. And we're going to be talking about some issues that affect our community right now. Have you not seen what's going on in Washington, D.C.? But have you not also seen what's going on as it relates to the importance of the black vote, in particular, the importance of women getting out and voting? Yeah, just look at this last election. So, again, she is a longtime journalist. She is one of my friends. She is an award winning journalist. Right. She's an author, award winning editor, used to be an editor for the Montgomery Advertiser. We're going to sit down and we're going to talk about issues of the day and we're going to talk about her latest book project. That will be a very interesting interview. And she'll also be joined by her best friend. So we're going to just have a girlfriend chat and we're going to talk about their book. But I find it hard to believe that we won't touch on some of the issues that we see today, that some of some are near and dear to you all. What we're seeing with the election. OK. Um, what are we seeing? All of the tension that's up in Washington, why we're seeing it, et cetera, et cetera. And then, you know me, I love to talk about how we pivot and how we move forward. It's not just enough to talk about it. You have to be about it if you're going to see change in your life in any way, shape, form or fashion. So that's coming up next Saturday. We'll be on at 8 a.m. We look forward to seeing you then. What else do we have coming up next week, next week or actually tomorrow, 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 tomorrow? We're going to have a uh, purpose.
www.kisasharp.com. We're going to have our purpose final installment on that. I'll be joined with my husband, purpose.kisasharp.com. We're going to be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. for the final installment in which we are encouraging you to walk in your God-given purpose. Okay? Three o'clock tomorrow, I want you to join us for the final segment. We're going to talk about purpose unfolding, how you may have purpose and you may start off in an arena and know what you're supposed to do, but it changes. It morphs over time. So we'll be talking about that tomorrow coming up at 3 p.m. as well. I want to encourage you. Now is the time for your new beginning. If you have not purchased my book to show you how to pivot, OK, after this pandemic, during the pandemic and, and everything in between. Now is the time for your new beginning. You can go to Amazon and you can order a copy of that. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's all. It's been a great day. I know y'all are getting off this morning to go do some other things. So anyway, we'll be back here tomorrow. OK, at three o'clock, but also next Saturday at 8 a.m. as well with my friend Wanda. And each and every Saturday after that, we're going to be back here. Have an amazing Saturday, y'all. I'll talk to you later. KisaSharp.com. Purpose.KisaSharp.com as well. Mwah. Appreciate y'all. Have an amazing rest of your Saturday, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, and let me go out on my song this morning if I can find it. Let me see here. If I can find it, if I can find it, if I can find it, if I can find it. It's gone. Never mind. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. I wanted to play another song, but it is gone. So I'll talk to y'all a little bit later, everybody. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Actually, no, it's not. Big bug. We're going to go out on this song today. Have a great Saturday. They just seem to tell you the same old story. They tell you that they're not on drugs. They're not drinking. Y'all later. Just wanted you to listen to that a little while. Have a great day, everybody. I'll talk to you later.